what's up everybody happy building um, so in my last video I was talking about how I was going to replace the rotors in my car but then I completely forgot that I actually have trailing arm bushings so with that in mind I'm actually gonna replace those in the rear and uh, replace the emergency brakes for this video and hopefully um, I could have enough time to replace the rotors um, but that might be a separate video just because um, next week is me and my girls is three years so I'm not gonna have time to fix the car but uh, let me show you guys the spark plug cover that I painted there you guys go this is how it looks it looks pretty clean uh, this part is the only part that's messed up I don't know if you guys could see it maybe if I close in you guys can't really see it, but it's kind of like unleveled because I didn't really, it was hard to sand this part, but yeah. So for this, um, I'm going to actually start painting it. I need to get clear coat, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just going to get all my tools ready, and then I'm going to paint this first. And while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to start replacing that dang trailing arm bushing right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Before I start fixing the car, let me just clean this up. Anyone that's new, please like, comment, subscribe if you guys are interested in like the journey. Uh, the journey with me and my cars. Um, I know I'm not a mechanic. I didn't take any classes to fix cars, but it's something that I've learned to grow and love learning, I guess you could say. And it's just, um, it's just dope, you know? Like seeing where people come from and whatnot, but yeah, um, my two cars are a Honda Civic EG. That's like my quote unquote project race car, and I have a GS that I daily. I'm hoping to switch over uh, soon, but not too soon. There's that. This is looking pretty clean, so I'm a bit happy. I think it's gonna be ready for paint. And for all the people that subscribed. Thank you guys for subscribing and seeing something in my, my videos, you know? But for anyone that didn't look at my little parts haul that I do, what I got is hard race trailing arm bushings. Um, let me just go ahead and open it. 6106. Hard race. Let's put it right here. And so basically this is how it looks. Nothing special, nothing too crazy. Supposedly it's very strong. This is the reason why I got this. Um, I heard other like energy suspension trailing arm bushings squeak a lot and they don't really last long. Uh, don't quote me on that just because of like what other people have said online. There was also PCI, I was thinking about getting that but um, I didn't want to drill into the trailing arm and whatnot and make my own holes and I just feel like that was such a hassle and you know all I had to do is just hammer the trailing arm bushings out install these and it should be good anyways um, let me go ahead and paint the spark plug cover so that way I could just work on the car while I wait for it to dry and then we'll go ahead and replace the trailing arm bushings so I could show you guys and uh, yeah Obviously you have to jack the car up. My car's been jacked up for like almost a year. As you can see it's freaking dirty. But hopefully that's gonna change. Um, first things first though is you're supposed to remove the e-brakes. Um, I'm just gonna partially remove it and then fix the bushings. And then once the bushings are fixed, because I have to drop the trailing arms, um, I'm just gonna take out the whole emergency brake line. And then install the ones from a 1999 to 2000 Civic, I believe. I think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually I wear shorts and like a short sleeve because, you know, it gets hella hot picking cars. But I haven't fixed my Honda in a long time. Last time I tried fixing the Honda, I saw two big ass spiders. So don't get me wrong. Um, when I see a spider, I don't like run away and get scared like I'll kill it but I just hate when you see a spider and it un unexpectedly like comes out of nowhere so 
Gotta get prepared for that. You have to remove the emergency brake line. There's this brake line right here you have to remove. In order to remove it, you have to first remove the pin. I think it's called the cotter pin. That's holding this. It's gonna be in the back right here. Uh, it's hard to do this with one hand, but yeah. It's like right there, right here. And then you unscrew the freaking screw over here. I'm gonna remove this um, little thing right here, clip, this little clip. You remove it, just get a flathead, pop it out. And then once this whole brake line is out, you can just feed it through here, right here. Feed through the trailing arm and just push it out. I can't really show you guys, it's a freaking tight space. Like this is how far it could go because my car, my Lexus is right here. But, oh, freaking A. Go ahead and fix it. So what you do is, um, there's this little pointy part of the pin. You push it outwards and then you can pull the clip. Like so. Don't know if you guys could see that. Remove that. Now put that in a safe place. Um, we'll probably put it in the hardware. Okay. Oh yeah, also to make your life easier, make sure that you break this down. So you don't actually screw. Uh, the emergency brake line, you push it up. Do first is you want to get like your screwdriver or something like thick enough to uh, push the thing up. Sorry, it's kind of hard to push it up like that. And once there's like some opening right here, you just pop it out. Uh, I'm going to have to put you guys down for this, but generally that's how you do it. It's finally out guys. Put that in your little box or in a safe place. And then now, remove that little pin. What I like to do is just get a flathead and just push it out. That's removed. So it's finally out. As you guys can see right here, hopefully. And then all you have to do is just get it outwards like that. And then just push that little grommet in. It's going to be hard, but you should be able to do it. Anyways, I don't know if you guys could see that. You see that little rubber stuff right there? That is freaking cult, guys. This is something that you do not want to do. And my dumbass did that, so that's why I'm gonna fix it the right way. I'm gonna start from the beginning of the car, all the way towards the end. But before even doing that, what you wanna do is you wanna actually mark in the trailing arm how the, the bushing is. So for example, so what you want to do is you want to mark it on the trailing arm. So pretend my arm is a trailing arm and it's like this, right? What you want to do is you want to be able to mark it, uh, mark it straight. So that way you don't forget um, the position of the trailing arm and how it originally is. So I'm going to go ahead and get a marker and we'll go ahead and mark it. All you have to do is just get a ruler, um, align it with this. So like that, align it and then just mark it right here. On the trailing arm so go and do that let me get my marker and when i marked it um hopefully i don't get that mixed up with like a dirty mark but that's why i have this video to refer to um yeah typically looks good um generally this is how you want to do it i'd pr probably prefer like white out or something but now that we have the position and we understand it now it's time to actually take the trailing arm off. So, it's gonna be right there where that um, socket is. That's the first bolt you wanna take. Um, I believe you could access it from the back. If not, you have to go to the front. But unfortunately, I don't have any space. Um, you might need an actual wrench to take it out. So if you're strong enough, if you know a way to take it out in the front, I would probably recommend doing that. But as for me, I would have to get it from the back. So let's go ahead and take that first one off. Alright everyone, so where I showed you the extension is, you cannot get it from the back because it's a freaking round bolt. 
two here, nine sixteenths, and take it out. So you just get a nine sixteenths, or a, I believe it was a fourteen, which I lost unfortunately, and then you just uh, wrench it out. Okay. Alright, everyone. So you should be in this predicament. Okay, you see where that bolt is? It should be like that, and you should leave it like that. And then you remove the actual trailing arm bolts, which should be right there, and on the other side, which is right there. All right, everyone, so that's what you do. And then once the trailing arm goes down, you should be able to just remove the bolt. So it should be that easy. Um, what I believe you need is, you see, where is it, where is it? Where is it? You just need a 17 millimeter socket wrench or socket I'm sorry 17 millimeter socket and then you get your extension or if you have an extended socket you could just go ahead and remove it like that should be that easy we'll go ahead and remove it and we'll go from there Ooh. oh shit that scared me One bolt out. We had to take out that bolt and this bolt. And to completely remove the trailing arm, we're gonna have to take out the last bolt right there. All right, right there. All right, everyone, so now, um, since we just, since it's been like a while, and I've been trying to figure out how to take out the trailing arm because I forgot, we're gonna spray paint the spark plug cover and then wait another 15-20 minutes just keep adding layers and layers until I'm satisfied and then um, just go back to working on the trailing arm so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the bottom bolt first I'm not going to take it out all the way and then I'm going to remove the top bolts that I showed you guys next and then remove the last bolt just so um, I could just easily remove the bottom bolt so that way, um, it'll be easier for me to control the movement of the trailing arm as I take it down. Last bolt is finally out, guys. So what I want to do is get the, the box that I got. And then I want to be able to protect the, the studs so that way, just in case it all falls, I want to be able to get it just in time. So. Alright everyone's finally off, protected by the box. Uh, I am using a 12 millimeter to remove the emergency brakes right here. So that way, I could just install the emergency brake lines from that 99-2000. And if you guys are wondering, if you guys are wondering why I uh, replaced the emergency brake lines is because I, it is rear disc as you guys can see. Uh, for my car specifically, non-SIs I believe. It's drum brakes, so I replaced the whole arm um, to rear disc from an Integra, and then you just need a 99 to 2000 SI emergency brake line, and everything should be legit. And the whole arm is finally off, guys. We're gonna go ahead and move to the shade because it's getting hot. So since I don't have the tool, I even tried checking like AutoZone, O'Reilly's, and whatnot, but they don't have it. So you get a hammer, and you could get an extension, and you just hit it from the back. Boom, boom, you know, just keep going. A lot of people have tried hitting the bushing from outside of the trailing arm to the inside, but typically I found that a lot of people have found that more difficult and more time consuming. So what they do is they hit it from the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just to show you guys, this is Kulk. This is something you do not want to do. Don't be ghetto like me and do it the right way. It's removed. Hell yeah. Okay. So remember guys, it's different on both sides, right? You don't want to install it like this. Going this way. 
you want the longer side towards the inside of the trailing arm, right? So it's gonna be like this, like that. Not, not like this where the short side is in the inside. You want the long side like this. And then that line we made, we're gonna make sure it aligns with this part. So we'll go ahead and reinstall it, just hammer it back in. And I'll check back in with you guys. But before installing, I'm gonna actually clean the inside with like brake cleaner or something like that. All right guys, so I got it in. Um, it was a bitch. Let me show you guys the front. So here's the trailing arm, this is how it looks. Um, it's all beat up. How I know it is perfectly fine like that is uh looking at the old trailing arm it was positioned literally the top part towards the inside part right here so just like a rough estimate you want to make sure everything's perfect but i got it in guys um it was hard but like i said you got to make sure it's aligned how it was before so making sure it's cocked a little bit so mine's isn't like necessarily straight it's kind of crooked like that now I'm gonna take out the emergency brake lines. Um, I mean, it wasn't really too hard. Freaking a, I'm freaking tired, guys. Holy crap! But um, you just take out bolts. I believe it's like 10 millimeters, and then you just reposition the old or the new emergency brake line with the old. Obviously, take out the old first, and then in with the new, and bolt everything up because it's um, it's bolted up with like 10 millimeter bolts to the undercarriage of the car and just realign everything that should be set that's basically for this video um freaking tired sorry about that glare um but yeah that's basically how you install the hard race bushings um yeah please like comment subscribe and if you're new um you know if you guys are interested in my journey please like comment subscribe to that as well and thank you to the new and old supporters and remember it is not a race, it's a marathon. Peace out guys, and uh, gonna take out that stupid emergency brake line. I'm out.